But I think we need to find a way to involve people, whether it be through spray painting, mural painting, whatever they can give. Some people like to cook. We had, we had in an activity somebody who wanted to make sorullitos with all the complication. You know what? We've got to eat too as a movement. So there is space for people to join the movement in some way, shape, or form. For example, I think today was a very clear example, William Average, a good friend of ours, also, he's also the one I call whenever I have any type of computer problems, and that's from the second I put my finger on the computer. So he helped us out, and I want to thank Will for helping us out with the sound. I knew when I was arrested, I would tell my comments, we're not going to die in prison. And I always knew, because if we could take the nationalists out of prison, I knew I wasn't going to die in the federal prison. You know, now we have two still inside. And then more people who are going to get busted. That's part of the struggle. But I also think that something that we have to, those that support our struggle, have to internalize, yes, U.S. imperialism right now doesn't know what it's going to do because they've lost Latin America. And Mexico with the new elections, we may now have a socialist, you know, heading Mexico. So what is American U.S. person going to do? Create more scroll screens in the oldest colony in the Western Hemisphere. What we have to do is people, I think everybody in this room, you wouldn't be here if you weren't people of consciousness. Am I correct? Well, maybe there's a couple of agents here. Who cares? <laughs> they have already taped us. But I think there's a new, we have a new way, and I think what Waleska's saying, and I think what I'm saying is, let us go outside, let us create. We have technology in our hands. Let's create slideshows and do our organizing. Let's create PowerPoint presentations. You know, if the New Age movement, and I'm here, but I'm not putting it down, please do not think so long who it is, but the New Age movement can sell all this stuff, we can definitely sell Puerto Rican countries for the freedom of Puerto Rico. Hi, welcome. I'm here at Cooper Union at the Left Forum. Joining me now is Gualesca Ramira Rodriguez, who is going to talk to us more about the La Nueva Escuela. So, can you please tell us more about La Nueva Escuela? Okay, La Nueva Escuela is a project that started, that we have started a, a couple of years, like I said. And the concerns were really, what do we do? We want to do something. How, what do we do? How do we do it? We all come from strong organizing backgrounds and with the firm belief that it has to start from the bottom. And the only way to start from the bottom is going to the houses, going to people, neighborhoods, speaking with people. Um, one thing we, we do believe is we need to meet the people where they are at. This is not my project, this is your project. I think that's something that a couple of us learned while we were in Venezuela. You either make the struggle yours or there's no struggle. We're here with Dicia Pagan, Puerto Rican activist. Um, she's going to talk about the events that went on today and say a word or two about the forum we had on Filiberto Ojeda Rios. I think when we looked at the audience, we realized that there weren't too many Puerto Ricans. And I think the issue of Filiberto and the question of the colonization of Puerto Rico and our struggle for national liberation has to be exposed like it used to be in the 60s and 70s. And I think, unfortunately, the assassination of Filiberto Ojeda Rios has caused a new wave of consciousness. But what we, what I think the impact of the forum was that Consciousness is developed by every single individual that was there present, that to create political consciousness, there are many roles. And the beauty, I think, is that we have this wonderful young woman, Waleska, talking about her role as a young leader in Puerto Rico. And I, I try to explain, to also share that here in New York and in the United States, we do have young people just like her. It's just that the media being what it is, they don't get the exposure, but I don't lose faith in the freedom of our nation and the development of new consciousness for our struggle for national liberation. And I think there's also, I think also a very important factor is that because of what the assassination of Freddy Vento and the FBI attacks on the Puerto Rican nation, not only in Puerto Rico, but believe you me, it's, hap it's going to happen here if it hasn't begun. What the government wants to do is subdiffuse our consciousness 
to talk about the status of Puerto Rico, which is an issue that the United States government will never resolve. So I think we have to be abundantly clear that let us not get diffused in smoke screens of politics. Let us get consciousness within our hearts and souls and spirit with the spirit to win the freedom of Puerto Rico. All right, well, there you have it. Consciousness, not smoke screens. This is Julian Herrera Quinones reporting for PR Dream, CATV.